Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Godric Manston My Manager season. Here we are guys, look at this. We've just purchased the apartment for rent, which you guys were talking about on the poll. You guys chose the most expensive one, the £10,000 a week. And we are here now. It's our home for the foreseeable future here in Exeter. We're going to pay the big bucks to live in a bit of luxury, but it may just be worth it. As you just saw as well, we've got Cambridge coming up as the first game of the season in the uh, League 2. And then we've got the Cabero Cup against Wigan in the first round, which is going to be pretty big in this episode, guys. So we're here for our last training session of the... Uh, the pre-season pretty much before we get into the full season in League 2 so hopefully we can play well we've got our new signing Romero there we've got a couple of other good new players and we're just looking at some of the um, the objectives for this season we are expected to gain automatic promotion which is going to be quite an interesting ask playing all games of legendary as you guys know as well and reaching the round of 32 in the FA Cup the continental success has no objective so no worries about the Europe at all or anything like that our youth development, we need to sign two players in our youth academy, assign to the defender position and grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall points as soon as they've grown and played them in five consecutive matches. And we've also got to do some brand exposure by keeping a streak of 85% attendance in five consecutive home matches, which could be a tricky one, but we're going to keep updating these guys. And the critical priority, the main one, is finish the season with 2.6 million, uh, million unspent allocated funds and keep the pl uh, player salary growth under 25,000, 25%. Which is going to be interesting. We've still got a bit of money in the bank, so hopefully we don't want to spend too much. But at the same time, if we do spend some more money, we just need to make sure that we're bringing it back in as well through competitions and through the selling of players. So guys, we're getting this last session underway. Just looking at the players and finalizing our team selection. We're going to show you guys the team selection before we get started in the... Uh, the office here so we're just arriving back at the office after the training session and guys it's it's a bit of an interesting one to try and figure out who's going to be starting where i'm going to get you guys to comment down below if you want to see if there's certain people you think are playing well during the start of the season who think should be starting then let me know down in the comments who you want to see in the lineup we're thinking about doing um our players our new player class is going to be starting on the right wing so he's going to get his debut in the league two we've got romero says of starting up top having his debut in league two we got the right back Vescalo having his debut as well at right back and we've got quesito having a debut as well so they're all the our new players on the left wing as well we've got edwards playing center attack in mid the 19 year old we're going to keep boateng on the bench and a few other good players we're going to have reed on the bench ready to come on later on in this game and the likes of holmes and moxie as well just sitting on the bench waiting to come on for their turn i think that'll do guys that's going to be the starting lineup for the start of the season and here we are about to get straight in to the first game of the league two season hopefully it's going to be a good one we don't know what's going to happen guys we haven't played in League 2 before ever, but here we are. All the ex of the fans are here for this home game. Turn up in force for the game against Cambridge United we've got going on today. It's going to be a big one. The fans are ready for it. Hopefully we're ready for it as well. It's going to be a really, really tough season, this one. A League 2 is a very tough league as well. As you can see, their player debuts. We've got Vasque. Velasco and Klasan having their debuts at the right back and the right winger. We've also got Casido on the left having a debut. Chancellor at centre back having a debut. Romero at striker having a debut as well. We've got Jake Taylor and James in the midfield with Edwards just leading the top of that. And more Taylor at the back with Woodman on the left as well with Pine in goal. So it's going to be a pretty, we've got a pretty good squad. I'm quite happy with that. I still think there's a few changes to be made once we see how the first couple of games go and see which areas still need a bit of improvement. This is the Cambridge United the lineup they've got a 4-1-2-1-2 wide diamond I think that is and it looks like they're going to be having quite a strong attacking force hopefully it won't be too strong for us and we'll just have to hope that we hope that we can play well in this game we'll have to see how we go but guys here we are getting the first game of the season kicked off and underway here in league two exeter city versus cambridge united and getting the game underway is cambridge pushing forward now nine minutes in they've got a great ball chance through there for the striker can he get this one on the finish he's had a shot there at the near post but he's put it badly wide and they're going to come forward with another chance now 12 minutes in he's pushing forward on the left wing and now can he put this into the back post yes he can open header there and it's just gone wide from a move and it's going to go out of play for a goal kick here they come once again though it's all cambridge at the moment coming down the right wing this time halliday puts it into the box there we've got a man waiting dunk head as it hits the post and dunk gets the rebound in the back of the net we've gone one nil down here to cambridge 
Guys, 22 minutes played. They've taken the lead. Dunk with the goal. He headed the first one. It hit the post. He headed the second one on the rebound and got that one in the back of the net. That makes this game 1-0. And we are 1-0 down in the first game of the season, which isn't the ideal scenario that we were looking for. Look at that first header there. Hits the post. Second one, he goes straight in past the right back's foot and gets a header into the back of the net. That's his first goal of the season. That's the, probably the first goal in the entire League 2 this season. That's annoying. But here we come forward with a chance now can we do anything with it we've got a throw in here coming into the central area James on the ball here pushing forward into the box now can he lay this there yes he has he's it to Taylor Taylor turns has a shot and he just can't quite get it past the goalkeeper there who makes a great save and the ball gets cleared out of play here comes Cambridge with a chance now opening up the space in the midfield and they've gone and put it in the back of the net just like that for 2-0 out of nowhere they've gone and scored once again guys 35 minutes in we're not even up to half time yet and they've gone 2-0 up in this game. That's really, really disappointing. All this preseason build-up. We got all the way to the semi-finals in the preseason tournament. And then out of nowhere, we've gone 2-0 down in the first game of the season. All that preparation out of the window for nothing. And this isn't looking good for a start of a campaign hopefully we can bounce back in the second half we haven't got long left to go in the first half so hopefully we can regroup and go again from there here we come forward with a chance now though looking to get this one inside the area Edwards on the ball lays it there to Romero Romero pushing forward now looking to get round his man getting tackled but he's just holding up nicely on this right wing here he's going to come in central on the edge of the area laid it back to Vasquez. can we put this in the box now James there to Edwards great chance to Klassen what a goal it's 2-1 and we bounce back with the first half goal to make it 2-1 in this game a debut goal for Davy Klassan puts it 2-1 on the score sheet and he scores his debut goal which is fantastic what a goal that was as well in front of the ex of the fans which is just what he needed on his debut to give him that confidence boost and what a great bit of play here from Exeter. Late there to James. Late it there. One touch passing and a great little quick finish. Just slot it in the back of the net. Makes it 1-0 here. Klassan with his first goal of the season. Hopefully one of many for this season. It's going to be a long season, guys. And hopefully this will be the start of it. The Afro man there, Dylan Klassan, getting the goal. First goal in the EFL League 2. And we're going to get this game underway again in the kickoff. In the first half still with Cambridge on the ball. Can they get a chance forward now? Here comes Klassan once again. 45 minutes played. Last chance of the half to get this one in the box. Chipped it in there to the near post. A flying kick from Edwards. Uh, Edwards from uh, James there. Wasn't quite able to get the back of the net. And there goes the halftime whistle in this game, guys. We're not doing too bad. We're currently 2-1 down after going 2-0 down. But just bringing one back there with Klassan's goal. And we now have a bit of a leg in this game to stand on. Hopefully we can use that leg and get another one and push forward and get a decent result out of this game because we need to make sure we play well in every game in this league too but here comes a chance for Cambridge once again dunk on the ball pushing forward into the box on the left wing crosses it into the middle a header down there missed by two players and saved by the keeper just in the nick of time oh this is an intense game and look guys a sub the first sub of the game here Jake Taylor coming off the number 25 for Hiram Boateng who's going to make his first appearance off the sub bench for Exeter City and here comes a ball forward now for Cambridge once again 62nd minute in now they're going to chest it down then opening up the space they've got players running into the box led it to the back post he just tucks it in the back of the net Deegan makes it 3-1 in this game and we are not having a very good defensive display at the moment definitely something to look at once again unless we can sort ourselves out in some training this isn't looking good defensively at the moment this season three goals conceded and we're only 60 minutes into the first game of the season and it's very, very annoying at the moment, guys. Ah, look at that. Great ball, though, from the Cambridge players. And a great little finish from Deegan at the back post to slot it in. It is 3-1 in this game. And we're going to be making another substitute here very soon, guys, I think. Because we need to get some better, pl uh, different players on the pitch. Some not-so-tired players. So we're going to make some more substitutions soon. But here we come forward with the chance now from Edwards. Can he lay this one forward? Playing from center attacking mid there to Romero. Romero takes the shot on the edge of the box here. Great save from four to keep that one out. And here we come forward with another chance now. Edwards again on the ball. Laying it to Boateng who's come on. Romero on the ball. Lack there to Edwards who's going to take a touch. Take a shot in the back of the net. And there it goes. Edwards the 19 year old center attacking mid for Exeter City. Goes and tucks it in the back of the net. And what a goal it was guys. It's 3-2 on the score sheet now. We still have a chance in this game with 
20 minutes remaining just under that. Edward goes and scores his first goal of the season. Exeter fans are loving that one as well. Great bit of play to work it around nicely. That pushes through the defense, opens up the space, and slots it just past the goalkeeper. He is playing really well this season already. The preseason had a great one, and hopefully we're going to keep playing him at center attacking mid and using him well. We're just going to sub off Romero here and get on Ruben Reed to give him a chance up front and see if he can get a goal for us in these last 15 minutes of this game. Not long left to go. Can we get an equalizing goal? A one point out of this game would be ideal at the moment. Boateng on the edge here. Laying to James. Back to Boateng. Puts it in there to Reed. Reed takes a touch. His first shot of the game. Can he put this in the pocket of the net? No, it's just been blocked. And it's gone out of play for a goal kick. Annoyingly, 88 minutes in. What's going to happen, guys? We've got another substitute. Lee Holmes coming on for Kyle Edwards, who's had a great game. He's being subbed off now. And Lee Holmes is coming on, hopefully, to make the last minute of impact. Can we do it here, guys? We've got one minute remaining. We're into the 90th minute now. Holmes pushing forward to take the shot here on the edge of the area. He takes the shot on his left foot, and it's been saved too easily by Ford. And he's going to get that one up the pitch. I think this game's going to be over very soon, but we're going to get the ball back down and try and push forward once again. Holmes, and there goes the full-time whistle, guys. We finished the first game of the League 2 season with a 3-2 loss to Cambridge United at home. And it wasn't just, it just wasn't cutting the result that we wanted, but we did score two goals in the end and we just about brought it back, but not quite enough. So that was a positive side of it as well. So we've got some attacking runs we're going. We got a goal from Class N and a goal from Edwards which wasn't too bad, we just happened to concede three, which was annoying. But we're gonna be back here at the office now, guys. And uh, yeah, we're back at the manager's office in Exeter, and we're gonna be having a quick chat to um, Pierce Sweeney, who has uh, wanted to know about um, being played in the Cabero Cup game, which is coming up. As you can see, he said, I've seen the provisional team for the next game. I'm amongst the subs, I've been playing well, so I really want to keep the momentum going. And I thought, yeah, actually, because he's come to me and asked, I'll give him a chance at right back. I'm going to make sure he gets into the starting squad for the Cabero Cup game against Wigan, which is coming up next in this episode. So guys, that meeting is over and we're going to be here in the office doing a bit of team selection once again quickly, just to swap things up and get some different players on, because this is a cup game and I don't want to knacker these players out too much for the start of the second game of the season in the next episode. So we're going to swap quite a few players out, playing Holmes on the left, Reed up top. We're going to be moving out um, Edwards there at center attacking mid, and we're going to stick someone else in his place, probably the striker there as well. Burn there playing at center mid, coming in a lot of the reserves to give them a chance to see how they do. Smallcomb as well, and as for the right wing, we're going to take Klassan off, and we're going to bring on Egan, the right back, who's only 47 ready, but we've got to give him a chance in the first team, at least one go. I think Pierre Sweeney's going to be playing at right back as well. So guys, this game is going to be getting underway very soon. Exeter against Wigan in the first round of the Cabrera Cup, and it's going to be getting straight into it now, guys. Not much between these games at the moment, and then after this, we're going to be doing one more thing after this game where we're going to be looking at buying a new car. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're going to focus on this game at home once again. So two home games in this first episode against Wigan. The fans have turned up in quite big numbers today. Not as many as the first game of the season because it is a cup game. But hopefully we can have a good cup run this season. We've got the Johnson's Pay Trophy to play. Oh, the Cheque Trade Trophy. We've got the um, Cabero Cup. We've got the FA Cup and maybe even the EFL Cup to play for in this league as well as the League 2 itself. So we've got some very good cups to play for and some very good trophies we could be winning if we played well throughout the season. We'll have to see how we go there. There's the lineup for Wigan. Will Griggs in the lineup as well, heading for striking position. And we're playing our lineup that you saw before. So hopefully we can keep this formation going and using our 4-3-3, push on and get some decent goals from the wing crossing into the box. But guys, we're going to get this game underway now. It's going to be an interesting one. It's the first round of the Cabrera Cup. You never know what to expect in a cup match. So hopefully we can put on a good display for these fans this evening. And here we go, Wigan about to get this one kicked off. Now it's going to be an interesting one as well. Can we get something out of this one? We lost our first game of the season 3-2. This will be an interesting one to see if anyone will get any goals out of it or if it'll be a goal fest at all. Here they come forward now. Wigan with a chance now pushing forward. Roberts there laying it perfectly already. One minute into this game. Can this be a goal for Wigan? Jacobs to the back post. A header from Cal Cloth. And he's gone and hit the crossbar and it's going to get cleared out of the play from the Exeter defence. Reed pushing forward here for Exeter. Can we get a chance here? Laying it down the right wing. We've got a chance coming into the area now. Sweeney crossing into the back post but the keeper makes an easy save and 
gets taken out by our player who looks like he might be getting a booking for that challenge on the goalkeeper which I think he is it's a bit annoying nine minutes played and he goes and gets a booking there Liam McAlden from uh, I think he's playing center attacking mid gets a booking there 12 minutes played now here they come forward Grigg on the ball for Wigan can he get a chance he's pushing into the space he shoots top corner hits the crossbar again for Wigan and they header it just wide from Jacobs very unlucky for Wigan we're very lucky not to concede a goal already in this game 35 minutes played though across into the back post cleared away from us but headed down for Wigan once again they're going to get another chance Grig there laying it to Roberts who takes the shot and it gets blocked and goes out of play and guys another attack for Wigan it's just constant at the moment we're not defending very well recently another chance here for Jacobs a great save from the goalkeeper to keep that one out and it's just trying our hardest not to concede at the moment but here we come for 45 minutes in with a chance to get this one central but no it's been blocked and we've been taken out and there goes the halftime whistle in this game not a bad first half Wigan have been really on top at the moment they've had great chances they've hit the crossbar twice and they've almost scored a few times we've only had one or two chances and they haven't really come to anything at all so hopefully we'll get something out of this second half which is going to get underway now here is Reed with the kickoff for Exeter hopefully this will be our half and we can get something out of it but no here comes Greg with a chance for Wigan laying it nicely around the corner for Cloudcloth can he put this in the box now he's coming in central he's going to take a pass there to Greg what a save from him in goal and he's just blocked that one out here comes Watting once again coming on the pitch with Smallcomb this time making another substitute appearance I might be starting him soon he's been playing well coming off the bench hopefully he can put another good performance in in this game but here comes Will Grigg again for Wigan Athletic can they put this one forward he goes and lays it off there to Kyle Clough who makes a good shot and a great save from Pim again 77 minutes in guys Casido is coming on now nothing is happening in this cup game for Exeter at the moment we're just not getting it our way at the moment and it's getting really frustrating but here comes Wigan with a chance now to push forward they've laid it back central James on the ball cross it to the middle and they can't quite get it down but Boateng doesn't get it clear James comes forward great chance for Cloudcloth and he's gone and finally put it in the back of the net Wigan have taken the lead 1-0 up in the 87th minute of this game right at the death there's only three minutes remaining in this game and they've gone and taken a 1-0 lead that's so frustrating Ryan Colecloth there with his first goal in the Cabrera Cup and Pierce Sweeney's game is finally over. He's coming off and getting replaced at right back. Can we get a goal here? Three minutes remaining. We're pushing forward with it now. On the ball is Reed looking to get a chance. He lays it there to McCarden. McCarden puts it through and he just can't quite get on it on the end of it. And Walton saves that nice and easily in his hands. Guys, 90 minutes play. Grigg with the last chance, I think. We've got a tackle in there, but it's going to be a free kick to Wigan. I think this game is all but over, guys. It looks like we're going to get knocked out of the Cabero Cup in the first round, which is really really frustrating and here comes Wigan with their free kick man overlaps there has a shot from Jacobs and there goes the full-time whistle we ended up losing this game guys we lost both games in this episode lost the first game of the season in League 2 we've lost this game 1-0 here to Wigan in the Cabrera Cup both games at home disappointing for the fans that's for sure and what's oh, how annoying it's going to be coming into the next episode in the next two games of the league two season with this hanging on our shoulders hopefully we can put in a good performance and guys just as we were leaving there we decided to make something of this evening and not let it get us down we just rejected a offer from more taylor there and we're going to be heading to the car store the car dealership where we're going to be looking at a new car which you guys will be telling me which one you want and then we'll buy it in the next episode as you can see we just got paid as well 13,000 and our rent our 10,000 went out so we gained 3,000 pounds and we currently have 30 thousand sixty to spend thirty thousand six hundred dollars uh, thirty thousand six hundred pounds to spend on a car guys so the only cars we can get sadly not those ones as you would love to have one of those cars in our garage at the moment we cannot afford them but there is four other cars here which we can afford and we're just gonna have a quick chat with the uh, car dealership management and see what they can do for us today hello I was just wondering if we had any cars for sale yes we do what's your budget 30,000 is the maximum I can afford. That four cars in the showroom are all within your price range. All right, guys, they said we got a choice of the four cars here for now if we want to pick one of these guys. So I'm going to let you guys choose this from the poll above in the top right hand corner right now. Number one is 15,000. This car here, it doesn't look too bad. It's a bit small, but we can always upgrade and we can always get better. But there's only 15,000 as well within our budget to leave us some spare money to use for other things. The second car on the list is this number two here, 25,000. That will leave us about 5,000 to spend. 
afterwards as well as a couple more wages if you guys want to get that one there there's a um, SUV here quite a nice one for 30,000 if you guys want to get that that's choice number three which will leave us with absolutely no money left after buying the car or you guys we can get this other car behind us as well this one looked quite interesting I thought it'd be quite funny if you guys did want to get this one number four is only 10,000 we'd have lots of money to spare but we'd be riding around in some very old car and not only we can't get any of those cars over to our left, but we may be able to buy them one day if all goes well during the seasons. We've got Swindon coming up in the next episode, guys, of the EFL League 2. Hopefully we have a better performance in those games. And then we've also got a game coming up against Lincoln as well in that one. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out.